Well, hello. 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 And welcome to Flora and Fauna. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's not what it's called. Hello. Hello. And welcome to Laura and Fauna. I'm Laura. Here's some Fauna. The show where I impart some of my randomly collected knowledge about plants and animals. So let's just jump into it. Did you know that caviar, you know those little fish eggs that you eat at a fancy dinner, they actually come only from one type of fish. They are the eggs of the sturgeon fish. If you've seen The Little Mermaid, you would um, remember the sturgeon from the Under the Sea song. Sebastian says, You get the spirit, something to hear it, under the sea. In that song there is a sturgeon may not know is that caviar is only allowed to be called caviar if it actually comes from a sturgeon. Otherwise, the fish that the caviar came from would have to be specified. So if you go to a restaurant that says salmon caviar or, I don't know, trout caviar or whatever, um, the only time that you can just say caviar is if it's from a sturgeon. And sturgeons are these really big ugly looking fish. They've got little whiskers on them and they're huge, probably about as long as I am. A female sturgeon can live from 80 to 120 years, which is nuts. It's a really long time. But sturgeon eggs are harvested for caviar at around 30 years of age. Some can be younger, like 15 to 20 years, but older, uh, older female sturgeons are harvested for their eggs around 30, which kind of seems inhumane. I mean, obviously it's all not great, but it seems even worse when you know that the fish could live four times that long. When it's sturgeon caviar, true caviar, it's actually so expensive that many of the sturgeon farms have armed guards surrounding the, uh, the farm because each sturgeon can end up being worth between forty and fifty thousand dollars. One female sturgeon can basically create about forty-eight pounds of caviar. Something really interesting that's been going on in the last decades is how caviar is farmed. So typically you would have to either catch or raise a sturgeon and then kill it, cut into it, take the eggs out, preserve them in a little bit of a salty brine and then send them to market. But since sturgeon can live for up to 120 years, in the recent past, what farmers have actually been doing it has been performing C-section. So putting the fish under anesthetic, taking all the eggs out, but not killing them. That gives them the opportunity to harvest three or four more times in their lifetime. Pretty crazy. Sturgeon are gross and they look like dinosaurs. Um, I just think it's really interesting that they live for such a long time. Whenever you hear of like an animal that lives for a really long time, it's a pretty good chance it's just a dinosaur, I think. Surgeons and tortoises and uh, sharks, they live a long time, don't they? Anyway, a lot of the dinosaur fish live forever. Lobsters too. Aren't lobsters like, what is that called when you won't die? When you live forever? They are uh, immortal. I'm pretty sure lobsters are immortal. Anyway, moving on. 